time in the studio together, you're going to get pretty close. Uh, obviously, that's a, quite a small space. Does it ever get really tense or...? Uh, not really, man. As a band, we just have like a really great dynamic, I think. I think we're all get along all the time, pretty much. Pretty all much like family, like we have Christmas together. <laughs> like, it's okay. never that close. I wasn't there. I didn't go to Christmas. No, I, we're doing Christmas this year. Like, this is the first year. Oh, first, first, yeah, yeah. first okay. time for the um, <coughs> this year. We were at teens time. Yeah, like we hardly, we never fight. Like seriously. So with your recording sessions, um, did you try anything experimental? Or? I'd say it was experimental from the first day. Really, um, we'd heard along the grapevine that our producer Matt on the first day, got everyone in the band to swap instruments and play through your set. Sort of put you into an unfamiliar zone. Yeah. Wait. Oh. 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 Right, I'm going to count us in. One, two, one, two, three. I fucking love you. Swap back. We learned a heap from that, like it was probably the most effective thing we did the whole time. Like, we learned a lot that time. Yeah. Guys, with uh, with modern bands nowadays, it's it's quite easy to fall into the trap of, of really kind of overproducing everything and, and... You know, we're all about playing like our own instruments, doing it all ourselves and no stuff. Trick, right? Worst came to worst, like, not really, didn't it really happen. Like, Matt might help us out with some of the instruments, like the drums and the bass. No, rhythm guitar. guitar. He did a bit of, he like some a backup bit. vocals. Most of the keys. Yeah, the keys the, and oh, he did the lead vocals on that day. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah he was sick. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I mean, you can't hear it. Seven percent of the time, that's me. When you listen, you can hear Matt on the track. Like, you can't actually hear him. Yeah, like yeah. you still get a, a feeling like. You know it's us. Yeah, like but. So Matt's. It's your buddy's ballpark. He wouldn't be the producer if he wasn't like on. That's right. What's the lyric at the end of the chorus? Um, it's nice to be alive. Don't stress, that's dumb. I'm here, and it's nice to be alive. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Okay. Can I have a go? That's how you do it, man. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. That's, that's how you do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, work here is done. You're the main songwriter, uh, all original. Yeah, always the most original, as I can be, possibly. Yeah, all the songs come straight from my heart and my brains. I never would let like anyone interfere with that magical process of me making up songs. It's just B flat and E flat, so it's like, okay, I see. Okay. I fucking love you. No, 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 no. So melody, melody goes like this. I fucking love you. I think you're pretty. I see. You, not use. Appeal to a broad range of audiences with this song. I thought use. people liked saying use. Uh, okay, awesome. I fucking love you. Let's get cut. I fucking love you! Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this, man. That's sort of. That's not really. I don't know. It's out of my style. I didn't. Uh, I don't know if this is for me, sort of thing. Stop! What? Ask the bitch on night all the time! Hey, Matt, do something! Do something! You're gonna kill him! Ah! He's already dead! God, ah! I was guiding him through. What did Gandhi say? He said, uh, be the change you want to see in your band. Yeah. So, that was my guiding principle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sort of like a, like a godlike thing. Yeah, well, we use my high school 
handy for a lot of our influences. That was the like high pass and high pass and me sort of record. Michael Gandy. High pass.